Hi everyone. So let's continue. So in this demonstration, we are going to use Ansible to uh, update the DNS records by the, um, updated the um, DNS configuration files. So um, as you can see on the screen, we are already um, saved the uh, well, service account uh, on the DNS server uh, in the Java Outlook server. So because Ansible is agentist, so uh, it has to connect to the DNS server for LSH and trigger the command. So it has to um, know the password, uh, the username password of that um, DNS server. So um, and this changes required the privilege. So we also save the um, root account in Cyberbook server, so such that the um, paybook, uh, I mean the Ansible can uh, retrieve the password. So we are making use of the Ansible plugin for AIM to get a password here. So that's the very first part of our paybook. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, uh, there are a few tasks in this paybook. So basically we verify the presence of the DNS server. We try to copy the latest configuration files as well as we trigger our, our configuration reload to the DNS server. So that's all for this paybook. So let's try to um, start this paybook. So in order to do that, we will open um, the Ansible Tower web portal. So uh, we always save the uh, Ansible Tower administrator account in Cyberarch web portal. So through the book server, you can see the accounts there. By clicking the connect button, um, uh, Cyberarch PSM can help us to automatically connect to the um, Ansible Tower web UI without knowing the password. So after a few seconds, as you can see here, our web browser is opened and the um, PSM is helping us to um, enter the username and the password for the uh, Ansible Tower. All right, so uh, let's maximize the window. On the left-hand side, you can see the paybooks is already configured there. So we click the bucket button to start the paybook execution. After clicking on it, as you can see on the right, the status is now running. On the left, the status is now running. And on the right, uh, we have the logs. So the result of every step is shown on the right-hand side. As you can see, every step is uh, executed successfully. So basically, um, Ansible have um, updated the DNS records. So let's verify that. You can see the domain name is resolved, is pointing to a new IP address. Let's end with 132. And we can verify it again using the web browser. So by refreshing the page, you can see it, um, the DNS record has updated. It's now pointing to our uh, newly created landing page.